This facility was originally constructed in 1929. It was part of the Elizabethtown water system. It was constructed as a 15 million gallon a day facility. And currently it's rated at 155 million gallons a day. Uh, it's gone through seven upgrades in that time frame from 1929 to current capacity. And systematically it was increased and improved over time. Now we pretty much service you know, all of central New Jersey and uh, we're what's known as a tier one facility as far as uh, critical infrastructure is concerned. Uh, I'd, I'd say the customers that we service, 1.2 to 1.5 million people. received 13 inches of rain in eight hours. The water started coming into the plant by way of the front gate. Now at that point in time, we didn't have a flood wall. The water was coming in so fast, we made the decision that, hey, it's, we gotta prepare to uh, shut the facility down, which had never happened before. There's no water and the pressure's gonna drop and people are gonna be freaking out. Now we had 10 people on this site who were trapped they, uh, they lowered a rescue swimmer and that rescue swimmer would take one person at a time and bring them up into the helicopter and then when the helicopter was full, they would take them away and then they'd come back. I was the last person to be taken out of this facility and I made sure that everybody else was out before I left. When Hurricane Irene hit, it was evident that we needed to go higher because that particular hurricane, we came within one, literally one inch up from the top of the wall. It's a tier one asset and it does serve a large population in the state of New Jersey. And I think it's money well spent. By putting the flood wall up first, it also enables other resiliency projects. I want to be able to turn that tap on and have that water whenever I need it. I want to be able to cook, I want to be able to shower. Uh, but I think it's an understanding of, you know, when we're investing $300 million a year, it's to benefit every single customer in the state that we serve. Uh, we've got uh, refineries, we've got uh, hospitals, we have uh, schools. These things are going to stay open they're, they're, and they're going to they're want to have water even during those times of severe storms. So to have this facility running during any of those events is, is absolutely critical. Our costs are somewhere around a penny a gallon. And that is a tremendous value when you compare it to every other household utility bill that, that you have. A lot of places think that they're good because they meet what the regulations say. That's not good enough for us. That is our biggest thing that we try and pride ourselves on is getting ahead of the curve, knowing what's out there and how we can start working towards getting to meet those regulations before they are law.